days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet. So the first thing we're going to be making today are these plantain chips and these are comparable to banana chips and these are super simple. All you need to do is take extra virgin olive oil, put that all over the pan and then you're going to take a bowl and you're going to take your unripe plantain. It requires two plantains. You can look at all the recipes down below in the description box if you want to know exact measurements and exactly like what you need, you know. And you're just going to put them in the bowl. You're going to cut them into like little circles. So basically the way you cut cucumbers and everything, that's how you're going to cut these plantains. And they taste like potato chips, you guys. They are literally perfection. And my friend and I, after this, we snuck these into the movie theater and they were delicious. So then you're just going to put some lemon juice, some olive oil, and some sea salt all over it. And you're going to mix it together. And after that, you're just going to mix it, mix it, mix it with your hands. It's you know, as long as you wash your hands, it's totally cool. And then you're just going to put it on the platter thing. And all you're going to do is put them all on. I know, it's fun. And then you're going to... Actually, it only took me one of these things because I just kind of piled them all together. And then you're just going to put them in the oven and wait for them to get really golden and crispy. So my friend Madison, shout out to her, put it in the oven for me because, you know, fire scares me. And then they come out looking like that. They are the tastiest things ever. Now our lentil snaps. I'm actually taking these on my trip with me because these are so good. They are tomato basil flavored. You can get these at Sprouts. And these are like lentil beans things that are they're just so good. And I really love them. They're just a really tasty treat. And you can take them with you anywhere basically. So, you know, they're super delicious and I like them. So the next thing are protein balls. If you guys need some protein, rather than having a protein shake, you can have these tasty protein balls. So first you're going to take some coconut milk, and then you're just going to take all these different powders. I have the names down below because, you know, I'm just in that kind of mood. And then you're just going to mix it all together. And after you mix it all together, you're just going to take the bananas in another separate thing. I think there's two bananas that you need, and you're just going to mush them together. I took a fork, and then I took a smasher thing to um, smash them all because it takes a little bit. But you want to keep it so it's like not too chunky. You want to get it pretty creamy. And they're just, you know, simple. And then you're going to pour some more things in there and then put some vanilla extract. If you guys want to see the full recipe, you can just check down below because I, I don't know. I'm not going to explain cooking, but you guys can kind of see how I'm doing it. And the recipe has exactly what you need to do. And then you're just going to mix it all together. And once you mix that together, you're going to mix the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients together. And you're just going to, you know, mix them together, obviously. <laughs> and these things are so tasty. I definitely recommend putting them in balls rather than bars. On the recipe, it said bars, but I like them in balls because then you can have, like, a bunch of different kinds. Then you're just going to put some chocolate chips. And this is an easy thing to do. You just mix with your hands. And then when you're done with mixing, you're just going to turn it into like a little ball shape. If you guys know how to make cookies, that's exactly what you're going to do with this. Except instead of putting it in the oven, you're going to put it in the freezer. So after that, you're just going to, you know, put all of that. And you're going to take parchment paper rather than wax paper because the wax can actually stick to the balls. So I recommend getting parchment paper. And then you're going to put some chocolate and make like a double broiler. Basically, you guys can see how I put the two pans there and I put water almost like two-thirds up. And then you're just going to drizzle it on there. It has olive oil and the, um, or coconut oil. Actually, it has coconut oil and the coca thing. <laughs> and you're just going to put them in there and they're so delicious. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. Bye.